people with Prime Minister police will develop more and more sores. These sores resemble large bug bites and often are hard, often hard of veins. They occur on genitals or in around or in and around the mouth, somewhere between nine and ten to ninety days after exposure. People without treatment may heal without scar within six weeks. A study conducted in 2009 showed that one third of the U.S. patients infected with syphilis were also co-infected with HIV. Last one, second, secondary stage syphilis lasts one to three months and begins with, within six weeks to six months after exposure. People with secondary syphilis experience a rosy copper penny rash, typically on the palms and hands and soles of the feet. They also may experience more sports in the groin, white patches on the inside of the mouth, swollen with glands, fever, weight loss. My primary syphilis. Secondary syphilis will resolve without treatment. Tertiary syphilis, if infections that have, that have occurred aren't treated, they may progress to a stage characterized by severe problems with heart, brain, and nerves. That can result in paralysis, blindness, dementia, deafness, impotence, and even death are treated. Uh, in 2009, there were 14,000 reported cases of primary and secondary syphilis, the most infectious stages of the disease, an increase since 2007. It was only 11,500 11, cases. A theory, there is a theory that there is a potential connection between syphilis and HIV, and, the, and this theory is, attempting, is being attempted to be established. Uh, in recent years, there has been an increase in syphilis numbers within the homosexual male community. Um, this map shows the rates of syphilis by state in 2009. As you can see, syphilis is quite widespread throughout the country and trends show that the disease is most prevalent in New Mexico, Louisiana, Florida, Georgia, and Maryland. So, medication for HIV AIDS. Uh, HIV is, is an, uh, it's a virus that attacks the immune system. So, it weakens the immune system and it, it destroys the cells in the immune system, so it's hard to bend off like even common diseases that like, you would normally be able to get over in a day or two. So, uh, and since HIV is not curable, it's one of, it's one of the STDs that is not that is incurable, uh, there's only there's preventative measures you can take to limit it. Uh, this is because HIV virus mutates rapidly, um, so it's hard to come up with um, new medicinal treatments to you know, treat it, which is why research is really important when it comes into play. Um, the primary medication for the mid HIV is the NRTIs. Um, what they do is they work by trickling the reverse of transportase, which is the DNA enzyme which the HIV virus manipulates. Um, it tricks it into thinking that it's one of the molecular building blocks and then uh, this allows the NRTIs to actually stop the HIV virus from uh, These are some of the specific NRTIs used. Uh, I rank them in order from top to bottom that are most common to less commonly used. Uh, there's also variations. You can like mix some of the NRTIs and the NNRTIs in like um, in tablets and use those as treatments as well. Okay, so uh, yeah, basically I went over this. It's just the uh, NRTI sort of trick the HIV virus into thinking that it's using the molecular building blocks and it prevents it from multiplying. Uh, chlamydia, unlike HIV, is curable. The most commonly used uh, antibiotics are azithromycin and doxycycline. Uh, these are the primary choices to use when treating it. Uh, when using azithromycin, you use just one gram, and it should uh, basically cure chlamydia. Uh, if you use do doxycycline, you take 100 milligrams twice a day for about a week. And these are both successful in curing chlamydia as the cure rates for chlamydia. These two uh, antibiotics have exceeded 90%. Okay, 
So treatment of gonorrhea, the obvious first move should be to remove oneself from sexual conduct during the treatment. In combating gonorrhea infections, physicians will prescribe antibiotics. Um, normally, there is a seven-day period where one should take uh, oneself out of sexual conduct contact uh, for, in order for the antibiotic to work. Antibiotic, antibiotic should be taken in strict adherence to the physician's prescription. If not taken properly, the infection will not be cured. Healthcare providers usually prescribe a single dose of one of the following antibiotics for treating gonorrhea. Zibrofloxacin and also offloxacin should not be taken by pregnant women or those under 18. Healthcare providers can prescribe the best and safest antibiotic on a case-by-case -case basis. As you can see, there, there are the dosages. In its primary and secondary stages of syphilis, a single intramuscular injection of benzodiazepine, benzodiazepine, penicillin G, 1.8 grams will cure a person. For tertiary syphilis, a two-week course of intramuscular injections and antibiotic dosages will be necessary. Ongoing blood and physical screening tests may be necessary to ensure that the infection is not contract contracted again. Those who have had syphilis injections for more than a year may require additional injections. Medication for syphilis. Aside from intramuscular injections of penicillin, other medications used to treat syphilis are doxycycline, tetracycline, and for women experiencing infection during pregnancy, erythromycin. These antibiotics are taken on regular dosages throughout a two-week rehabilitation period. For prevention of STDs in general, the first line of defense against sexually transmitted diseases is abstinence, or at least exercise precaution. The use of condoms have proven effective in preventing the spread of STDs and physical contact, and screening tests and vac vaccinations are also available to notify and combat against them. Thank you.